Hey guys, it's James, One Shot Reviews, and I got a new camera, so I'm going to show off a couple knives in my collection, maybe my whole collection, I don't know how long. I don't know, because if it's longer than 15 minutes, because that's YouTube's new time frame, it, I may not show all of them. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the most unique knife here, and that would be my wooden trapper. Normally you wouldn't hold a knife like this, but it's just made out of wood, it's completely dull, it ain't gonna cut you. It comes in well, with all the pieces already cut, pre-cut, uh, all and stamped and stuff. You just gotta set it up right and put the pins through. Um, when I first got it, it took me at least like <laughs> four or five hours to figure it out, which is horrible because it's made for like kids that are like seven years up, old and up. So it was like, I felt kind of stupid at first, but it is kind of complicated, so, especially if you have no patience like I don't. Well, that's, that's that knife right there. Next, I'm going to show you my Redhead Stockman here. I know, James, don't grab your knives like that. But this is my red, little Redhead Stockman. Um... <laughs> There's supposed to be a little crest here, but it fell out, so I kind of want to display it, display it backwards so no one knows. Uh, don't know where that crest went, and it was there when I opened the package, and I do believe it fell out within like five minutes of me opening the package there. And I haven't been able to find it. I've swept my floor multiple times since I haven't found it. But here it is. Very nice knife. Just a general stockman, I do believe, and then you've seen this one before, a Texas mini tra uh, toothpick, very nice knife. I just love this new camera, picks up so much detail, too much stuff in the background but makes it go out of focus, very nice knife. Next I'm going to show you this here. My friend gave this to me a couple, about a week or two ago. He wants me to, he carries it, he wants my opinion on it. He knows I'm a big buck guy, most of my collection is buck knives. So, so he wanted me to review it. So I'm doing that right now. <laughs> or not review, I'm working for a review here. Seven. You know, I take at least a week or two to, maybe three, to, to get a definitive idea on if I like it or not. Back here is my Buck Vantage Select, or not my Select, Avid. I've already, in my last video I already spoke about this knife. You know my opinion on it. I really like it. It looks really nice in my collection. It just chills. I don't. I don't think I'll ever carry that one as an EDC because, you know, I don't want it to get ruined. And then here is my Buck Nobleman. You've, you've already seen this knife in review. I mean, now I can show you what the knife actually says on the blade because the macro mode on this camera, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. One of Buck's few knives that are made in China. And back here, got my knife that I normally EDC. My Buck Vantage Select. Very nice knife. Diamond. Diamond wood. Scales here. Beautiful knife. I think anyone and everyone should be carrying that. But, you know, everybody's got their own preference there. Um, this right here is my first knife that I've ever, ever got. Got this for a birthday present from one of my friends over a long time ago. I mean, it's 440 steel. It says it stamped right there on the blade there. I mean, when I first got it, this thing went through hell. It's, it's carved wood. <laughs> it's chopped through wood. It's done everything. It's, it's retired now. I do not carry it, 
because it is a little it's cutting too close to Florida rules it's just barely legal so you don't carry it anymore but it's displayed knives that I'm really not gonna go in detail about we got a Winchester here back here I got a little Browning model 2219 I think I got that with like a hat um and then I've got this one I want to talk about real quick this right here is my Boker Plus Subcom very nice knife I first thought, saw it and I thought it was so doofy looking but I, somehow I fell in love with it and I picked one up for it was my little Christmas gift to myself it's got FRN on one side stainless steel on the other stainless steel pocket clip very nice knife right here it's something I carry with me pretty much every day. It's my little Leatherman kick. I use it because of my bike wheel. I have tire issues. The tire likes to fall off mid-ride, so I need it so I can fix my bike real quick and then go. I just got it displayed here for this video, and then it's going back in my bicycle bag. And the way there in the back... That's my Buck Kalinga Pro. Very nice knife. Beautiful knife. I'm going to show what it looks like outside the sheath. Look at that. That blade is beautiful. It's S30V. Got the Bose heat treatment. And the brass on just behind the handle here, or the blade here, is a little tarnished anyone can comment on how I can clean tarnished brass I would love to know because I don't know how to clean it and I'm afraid to ruin it it's got a rosewood handle here very nice thick thick blade this knife is meant to do work but since I'm not, I don't live in the climate to use it and I'm not hunting as of right I don't really, I haven't gone hunting in I don't know how long ever really. So I won't be able to use it until I move back up to Michigan so I can go hunting. But that's not until I I get out of the military. I'm not in yet, but uh, I'm trying to lose weight so I can get in the Navy. And alright guys, this is my knife collection. Very small as I said got some nice pieces, some pieces that are just really sentimental to me. And yeah, that's that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been James. Talk to you guys later.